Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Major Hurricane Laura that is forecasted to become a Category 3 Major Hurricane and may potentially reach Category 4 status before impacting Texas and Louisiana. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. As of 4 p.m. Tuesday, the National Hurricane Center has Laura as an 80 mile an hour Category 1 hurricane and is forecasted to strengthen into a Category 3 hurricane before landfall in Texas and Louisiana. We have hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings issued. Catastrophic damage is likely, especially along the coastline where there may be over 12 feet of storm surge which will be very catastrophic and we have evacuation orders for over half a million people and this is a extremely dangerous situation and if you do not evacuate you may be added to the death toll later on from the system this system is then expected to weaken into a depression in northeast arkansas and re-strengthen into a post-tropical storm off the coast of massachusetts in the northeast Peak storm surge is expected to be 9 to 13 feet um, between Sea Rim State Park and Intercoastal City. And you can see all the other storm surges there, including New Orleans area, around 2 to 4 feet of storm surge. And the National Hurricane Center does empathize that the storm surge may reach over 30 miles inland, which will be very catastrophic for anybody involved and loss of life is expected and significant loss of property is expected. Rainfall forecast, that red there is 10 to 15 inches of rainfall on top of the storm surge. And that orange is 6 to 10 inches of rainfall where you have big swaths of that in Texas, Louisiana and in Arkansas. We have a moderate risk for flash flooding going from Texas and Louisiana into Arkansas in that red shade there where there's a 20% chance of flash flooding. These are tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. If you're in the purple, purple, dark red, you're basically guaranteed tropical storm force winds. And in that dark green there, you have a slight chance to see tropical storm force winds. I cannot empathize enough how dangerous the system will be, especially if it can reach Category 4 status. Again, if you do not evacuate and you're in the path of the system, you could potentially be added to the death toll later on from the system. The death toll from Laura already sits at a whopping 24 people and is currently the deadliest tropical system of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Do not let yourself be added to that death toll. Evacuate. That's the Chester weather forecast for Major Hurricane Laura. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.